All right, and today I'm working on a 2008 Toyota Corolla and that transmission, we have a problem with that transmission shift solenoids, it's uh, shifting uh, kind of funny. So we testing them before replacing them. I'm gonna be showing you how to test them here out of that transmission, there is a difference. Testing them here and testing them in that transmission and I'm gonna be explaining that. Also, this will apply for Toyota Matrix the same years and also Pony and Bike. So let's get started. All right, here is the shift solenoid I'm gonna be testing and this has only one pin. The ones that have two pins, they have a different way to be tested. So I'm gonna be testing this one right now. And they have to pass two tests in order for these solenoids to be good. One is with a battery here, 12 volt battery, make sure the battery is well charged. And one other, and the other test is with the multimeter. And for this shift solenoids to be fine, to be okay, to be working properly, they have to pass both tests. If they fail one of them, then there is a problem. So we're gonna be testing uh, with the multimeter first. And ohms. It's kind of dark here, but hopefully it can be seen. If I get between 11 and 15 ohms, then this shift solenoid should be passing this test. But we still gotta do the other test, as I said. So let's see. 13.7.6 so this shift solenoid is good at this point up to this point so let's see i'm gonna do it one more time and it is within the aspect according to toyota also i'm gonna be showing you this with the toyota software so you can be convinced that this is the right way to test it one more time this shift solenoid is passing uh, the first has passed the first test, so let's turn this off. Pass it right there. That's really the negative. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply 12 volt. If I make a ground here right now, and if it's good, it's gonna click. It's gonna make an operation sound because the the plunger inside is actuated. Get as close uh, to the camera. See, I hope the camera heard the click. Now, let me do it a second time and it will not click. See, see, nothing, nothing. What you gotta do is if you want this thing to click again, disconnect it completely and put it aside for at least 30 seconds of a minute or maybe one minute and come back and test it again. Usually it will click. This is because it's not being pressure loaded. In the, in the transmission. Let's see if it does it again. I hope you guys heard that click. See, you have to disconnect it completely to click if you want to hear the click again. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear it. So this one, this shift solenoid is in very good condition. I'm gonna test this one here and uh, see if that's the same. This is another one here, and I'm gonna see how I right, let's see. All right, do you hear the big click? I'm gonna put it here, and I'm, I gotta use my multimeter to see if it passed the other test too. Put it in ohms, it's not doing anything. Maybe I'm not making good contact. I don't know. I'm not using the alligator. Thirteen point one, thirteen ohms. So this solenoid also is good. Now we're gonna test another one. We're gonna test this one. This one looks a little black here. It's not green as this one, but it's it's the same. Now we're gonna be testing this one. This is the one first. Let's see. Also, it's good. I mean, uh, up to this step is good. All right. All right, let's see if it passes this test. All right, gonna see if it passes this test. Let's see. It clicked also. It clicked a little bit uh, weaker. I'm gonna put it right there for now. I'm gonna wait uh, about 30 seconds of a minute. Uh, let me sh do it again one more time. Let's see. 
Yes, he clicked. He won't do it again, as I said, remember? See? One more time, but if, we, if he will be in that transmission, this shift solenoid will be clicking every time you apply 12 volts, every time, because uh, it's installing that transmission and the ball body. And now let me go under the vehicle, under a 2008 Toyota Corolla, and I'm gonna be applying 12 volts. If the one I check is good, it will click every time, every time I apply 12 volts. Why is that? Because it's installing the valve body. But once you take them out of there, it will click only once. Only way they will click again is if you completely disconnect it from the wires. I already took out the wires. That's how uh, they work with this shift solenoids that have only one pins but the ones that have two pins they have a different way to be tested i'll show that in another video so let's uh, do this in the car this is the transmission oil pin here 12 millimeter bolt for the plug 10 18 millimeter bolt here in total this is how it looks like once you take out the oil pen I'm gonna disconnect this one here and see if it makes an operation sounds once I apply 12 volts. Do you realize they click every time I apply 12 volts? That's because they are installing the valve body right now, but once you take them out, they will click only once, as I already showed in the video already. So that's how basically they work. And this is a 2008 Toyota Corolla, by the way. All right, and here is the Toyota software, the instructions on how to test them. Now, one thing really quick, if you haven't trouble, if you haven't trouble finding the one that is bad, the one you have a problem with, all you gotta do is test all of them and the one that doesn't pass the test or bust the test, that's the one that is bad. So it's very easy to find it. Now, if you have problem with the one that has two wires, that one has a different way to be tested and that one is not covered on this video. If you think this video was helpful for you in any way, please don't hesitate to like, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching.